Hello everybody. Here's my G15. Here's my new RAM. Today we're going to do an upgrade. Somebody made fun of me in one of my previous videos about the way I said chasis, so I'm going to start using it correctly this time. I already undid the screws on the panel. Just remove the panel from the chassis. And here's the RAM. If you haven't been following other laptop reviewers, it seems like this Samsung RAM has been coming up in a lot of the Ryzen laptops lately. Uh, and it tends to be slower than what normal RAM would be, I guess. Uh, and the culprit might be this 1RX16 that's written on there. Uh, I guess the faster one would be the 1RX8 type of RAM. But the problem is, some RAM doesn't really say whether they're 1RX8, so it takes a little bit of research to try and find the correct ones. So the ones I have today, which doesn't actually say 1RX8 anywhere, but I've heard that it works pretty well, is the HyperX RAM. It's a 16 gigabyte, so it's still gonna be 16 gigabytes, but it's supposed to be CL20, which should be a little bit faster at 3200 megahertz. The other thing about the newer RAM is that uh, XMP or the AMD's version AMP isn't supported on this laptop or a lot of the other Ryzen laptops actually. So you'll have to get RAM that is already set to work at 3200 megahertz out of the box. Um, that takes additional research too, so make sure you read like reviews when you're buying RAM because it might not actually run at 3200 megahertz, which is what you want. So anyways, let's get to removing this RAM and put in the new one. After I do that, I'll also be doing some comparisons and performance. So you just pull out the tabs on the side and the RAM just kind of pops up. Take the bottom one out first. Also, they say that uh, one of the differentiating factors is 1RX8 RAM might have these chips on both sides. So that might be something to look for too. For instance, this HyperX RAM does have chips here and right here. So hopefully it does work faster than the Samsung RAM it comes with. You just slide it in at an angle and then you push down. Oops, backwards. And that's it. I'll be back after I put the panel back on the chassis and we'll see if it boots up okay. All right, 3200 megahertz, so it is working. Now let's just make sure everything works when I boot into Windows. Okay, and I'll do the performance test for a couple of the games I played last time and I'll be back with the results. Thank <laughs> you. 
City 31's alien population is safe from Grey Phoenix abductions.
And I'm back. So as you guys saw, I tested it with Optimus on and Optimus off. The biggest differences that I saw in the new RAM was with Optimus on uh, in the game Proteus. It was about a 20% gain, I would say. Uh, with Optimus off, it was maybe about 10%. Interesting thing with uh, XCOM was that there was about a 10% gain with Optimus on. Basically no gain with Optimus off. In a game like Yakuza, it looks like there was no difference. I think it's because it's a graphically intense game. It's already fairly low frame rate, so the differences aren't as pronounced. Uh, so if those are the type of games that you're playing, you're probably not going to gain anything from getting new RAM. I think I paid about $120 for this uh, new 16 gig. I don't think it's worth it for me really, um, but I do use my laptop for other things like video editing, so I think uh, this will probably come in handy for those type of things instead. If you're a gamer and you're only using it for the newest, most graphical games, it's probably not going to affect you at all. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out. Until next time.